I came across this article um, maybe about an hour ago, and I was debating whether or not I was going to talk about it because it's like I'm so fed up with people like Charlize Theron and their antics, especially when it comes to young black children and how they are treated, especially with the last few stories that I've done involving children and black children and at the hands of people like this. I don't care what anybody says. What Charlize Theron is doing with her children, especially her black son. And to me, there needs to be a full thorough, excuse me, a full on thorough investigation done on her. And definitely she needs to see some kind of a psychiatrist because the woman is not right in the head. Her elevator does not go all the way to the top floor. As a matter of fact, her elevator is malfunctioned. It is currently out of order. So as you can see in this picture right here, she has a picture of both of her children, not biologically hers, of course. On the far, um, on what would be her left, our far right is the little girl that she has. Now that's a biologically born girl. Her name is August. And the one you see, the older one dressed up like a girl, but is actually a biologically born boy. Name is Jackson. That's her oldest son who's now seven years of age. And I remember seeing a picture of him wearing that Elsa dress, that Elsa costume from Frozen, where he had the blue dress on and he had the blonde wig. People started to question it then what Charlize was doing as far as her raising, how she was raising her children. And but it really became suspicious and very shaky when she referred to her son as her daughter. She actually came out and said that her daughter, who is a boy, biologically born, is a is a girl. That's what she said. Now, fast forward to the reason why I'm making this video right here. She has now come out and said that her daughter, a.k.a. her son, if it was left up to her, is a trans son who is seven years old, who has not gone through puberty is saying that he is a boy who is now a girl or that's the change that he's going through. It's so it's a big ball of confusion and fuckery from her. The boy is seven years old. He has not gone through puberty. He does not know what the sexual, how the sexual nature works at that age. But then again, who knows what she's discussing with him behind closed doors. If she wanted to have two daughters, she could have raised, she could have adopted another girl. But no, she wants to adopt the boy and have a makeshift daughter that's not even real. Along with the daughter that is actually biologically a girl. Now, what's so interesting about this also with this story is that when I was continuing to read her son, because I refuse to call that boy a girl, her son at the age of four years of age told her that he was a boy at the age of four. That was three years ago, back in 2016, that he was a boy. She claims that she did not know that he was a boy until he told her. I'm like, hold on. The doctor usually knows what the sex of the baby is before the parents do when they're in the womb. Granted, she was not pregnant with them. Fine. But it's usually one indicator that lets you know if the child is a boy or a girl. And that indicator usually lies between the legs of said child. To determine the sex. How did you not know that? That lets me know that this woman is not deemed or fit to be a parent of any kind. If y'all didn't know, she was um, involved with the actor named Stuart Townsend. If you don't know, he was the one that played in that movie Queen of the Dam with uh, Aaliyah back in 2002. And he wanted, I think, to marry her. But she says she would not marry him until everyone had equal rights to get married. If y'all did not know, Charlize Theron is an 
a staunch LGBTQ activist or advocate, activist, advocate, whatever. I guess that was a turn off for him or he didn't feel like waiting and he ended up leaving her. And I think that was the last serious relationship she had. And remember, I just recently did a video talking about how she said men need to step up and date her as if she's some kind of prize. Look at all the baggage that she comes with. Look at it. I bet this woman is a real bitch to be around and in a relationship with. Look at how she's raising her son. She has full blown emasculated her child, her son. So to quote unquote. And this is a black boy that she's doing this to. And nobody sees the agenda. No, there is an agenda at work here, but people just refuse to acknowledge it. And then when I was reading some more of the article, you had um some white lesbians in there leaving comments talking about, you know, um speaking, talking and still calling the boy a girl saying calling the boy her daughter and whatnot. Like she has other people calling her son who was biologically born a boy with that X, Y chromosome, a girl. And again, I say this was taken out of the book of mental health and replaced with gaming. At one point, this lifestyle was seen to be as a mental health issue. They may need to relook into that, but first they need to evaluate her. Because like I said, she's not right in the head. And I feel bad for those kids because they are literally in a bad position right now under her care. But she claims she wants a man and a man needs to step up and date her as if she is like the best thing walking in around since sliced bread. That's probably because a lot of people have been boosting up her head over the time. Now, I did hear that when she was younger, she saw her dad kill her mother right in front of her. Granted, yes, that is a traumatizing experience, but you should have seeked the help then if you didn't receive it. Don't carry that over that behavior over to your kids. And the thing is, she thinks that she's doing the right thing. She sees absolutely no problem with what she's doing. I just found out today that the, the suicide rate for transgender people, and that's just them, is 50 percent. For a community that small, that is relatively high. And if she's raising her son as a transgender and he starts to go through the changes and whatnot, and he, and he, I wouldn't be surprised if he has suicidal thoughts. I'm calling it now. And it'll all link back to her. But of course, she won't take any responsibility for it. I doubt that she will. But this is just a sad, another sad case. It also reminds me of Devontae Hart and his siblings and how those two those two bitches, I'm going to just go ahead and say it, who had them jumping from place to place to evade CPS and DSS, which is who needs to personally go after her, to her, to be honest. And that's, I mean, it's Charlene, Charlize. They were hopping from place to place. And when they finally cornered them, what happened? They drove their car, their SUV off of a cliff with all the kids in it. I think the only reason Charlize probably hasn't gone that route is because she's a Hollywood actress. So they're going to handle her with kid gloves, but they need to really look into her parenting because this is not healthy. Like, look at this picture. She has her son in a damn pink tutu wearing a cap that has a blonde wig attached to the back of it. And she said that he is transgender. Why? Because she did not know that her son was a boy. Her son at the age of four literally came out to her and said that he is a boy that she swore was a girl. It's like, you know that he's a boy, but you still prefer to raise him as a girl. He is going, if he has some, like get develop some kind of common sense when he gets of age, he's going to resent the fuck out of her. She does not know what kind of life she is planning forward for her children unless she plans on homeschooling them. And speaking of home life, I wonder what the, the, her, their home life is like with her when the cameras are not rolling or when she's not out and about with them. One thing I've also noticed, too, is the only time you ever see her out with her kids is when it's 
a non Hollywood thing going on. So you would rarely ever see her kids at some kind of an award show with her. You would rarely see her kids, if ever, if she's going to um, some kind of red carpet premiere or something like that. She usually only has them when it's like this. I don't know what it is. Is she trying to hide the kids or what? Because a lot of actors and actresses, when they go to premiere stuff, they have their whole family with them sometimes if they're willing to travel. But she never, ever has her kids out there in the um like that as if we haven't seen them already plenty of times. And I swear, every time we see them, he's wearing a different dress. It's probably only one picture I have seen where he is not wearing a dress. And it's this picture right here. You can see they have the pictures blurred. That's probably one of the few pictures when he's dressed like a boy. Here's another picture right here where he's dressed as a, a girl right here. That's him right there because he's the oldest and that's the little girl. It is, it is, it's sick out here. It really is, but they're not going to look into her. They're not going to investigate her, even though they clearly should. And I hope that they do. And hopefully before it's too late, y'all let me know what y'all think about this down in the comments. I'll talk to you in the next one.